Estate.org. If you're new to the channel, I'm all about teaching you everything there is to know about Hawaii and its real estate, but you just can't find the listing. And today, where am I, guys? I'm in the I'm in the crow's nest up here at the beautiful Sheraton Black Rock Resort and Spa. And we have something pretty cool happening right now. I've been up here waiting for it to unfold, and I think it's happening, so check it out. It is a monk seal that has been sleeping literally all morning long and he is slowly but surely making his way into the ocean but we're talking slowly but surely so if you're having one of those relaxing sundays and you're kind of like this monk seal that's just kind of chilling out or maybe you wish you were like this monk seal chilling out on the beach on maui hit me in the comments let me know where you're at what's your outside temperature and what are you doing but what we're going to do right now, guys, besides keep an eye on this monk seal, is I'm going to show you around a little bit, right? Because you know what? My whole purpose in life, I think, well, I've got a few purposes, but one of them is to be your Maui connection, right? And to keep the Hurley hat lined up straight. But the Maui connection is what, keeping you abreast of what's happening here, right? So if you're, if you're kind of feeling the urge, you need a little Maui fix, he just moved, hang on a second, then uh, that's what I'm here for. But I'm going to show you around. I'm going to try to get back in on this guy. He just did a big scooch. It's pretty cool actually watching him enter and exit the beach. But, uh, oh man, I thought he was making a move. It's usually once that water laps up and hits him in the face, that kind of wakes him up and then they go, oh, okay, we're going back in. But look at this beautiful scene around here, guys. It's just one of those Sundays where it's everything is popping. The ocean is just... I don't know, it's just blue and warm and nice and the beaches are packed, the resorts are full of people having a great time. Of course, if you come stay here at the Sheraton Black Rock, one of the big cool advantages is not only is it one of the best places in the world to scuba dive, and I'm, I'm looking, at the, uh, looking at the mug seal, is he still there? Did he just leave? No way. Hang on a second. Oh my goodness. Oh no, he's still there. Never mind. Ah, I thought for a second that he went in the water and I missed it. No, he's still there. Anyway, not only is it one of the best places in all of Hawaii to, to uh, scuba dive right here, but it's also a great place to snorkel, probably my favorite snorkel spot. And of course, you got to come out here and jump off the Black Rock because that is just fun, man. I'm telling you, I don't care. Boom, look at that. Yes, sir. Hit me with a yes, I. You've done that. You want to do it. You're going to do it. You're working up the courage to do it. But uh, I like sharing with you guys cool places to go. Now this is one of my coolest, funnest little spots. You'll kind of find me every once in a while hanging out up here because we'll look at it. Just look at it real quick. Just, just tell me what you think, huh? I mean, is that, does it get any better than that? And I'm in this really kind of remote part of the Sheraton Black Rock that's kind of empty all the time but it's a great resort, probably my favorite hotel. It'll be between here and the Montage, probably my two faves. Of course, there's Weston, Weston, Weston all over the place, which is fine, they're good. But I don't know, to me, and the Hyatt, all right, Hyatt, I'll throw the Hyatt in the mix. But the Black Rock to me is special because man, it is the original resort. It was the first one that they built right here. If you haven't seen the YouTube video of this promotional video, 1964 or whatever, when they, man, it is so cool. There was, this was the only resort here. It sort of started the whole resort style community of Ka'anapali. And the coolest thing about this resort is that it literally is the same architecture as it was in the 60s and it's still relevant. It's still really neat looking and um, it's just got a really good vibe. Of course, there's the West Maui Mountains. Keeping an eye on Mr. Monk Seal over there. But yeah, it's just a really cool spot. Now let me, uh, let's head down to the beach actually. Let's do that. Let's, let's, shall we? Should we go for a, man, little camera. Should we go for a little walk? Let's do it. Let's go down there. Let's just get close to him. And then I'm going to go for lunch over at the new Hui Hui restaurant. And so just go with me on the journey. Why not, right? If you're like me, maybe you're kind of bored. I'm kind of bored, so let's go do this thing. So, real quick, before we leave this beautiful scene, right? Again, don't forget this spot, but I'm gonna show you kind of how you get here, right? Okay, so this, again, notice how empty it is, right? This is part of the Sheraton. I think it was the original entrance, maybe, back in the day? Because there's like a little turnaround up here. But look at this room, man. This place is cool. It's this round, 
dome and it sits right at the center at the top of black rock i mean that is cool right look at that and then you just have this beautiful seating area that again also looks down on the entire setup isn't that cool man oh. tell me that isn't some good youtube right there huh sheesh love it okay where's mr uh hang on a second let's keep an eye on mr uh, monk seal where's he at oh he's making his way down slowly but surely let's check him out from this angle oh he's getting his first touch of the ocean water can you see him there hang on right there That's as fast, as zoomed in as the iPhone will go. Can you see him? Pretty cool. All right. So anyway, how do you get to this spot? Next time you come here on vacation, besides, you know, staying at the Sheraton, you could do that. And then get a room right here on the very edge right here. Imagine the view from these. Those are some of the lanai's right there, huh? Look at that. Could you imagine? But you could also just come up here and visit and chill out and check out the view from up here. But I'll show you how you get here. It's kind of, it's a little confusing, I'll be honest with you. As a matter of fact, I've got to go into an elevator to do it, which would mean I'd get cut off from the connection. So I'll just show you this. Check this out. So this is this little roundabout. And I notice it's just always empty. So to me, it looks like this is where they used to maybe come up and drop people off. I don't know, maybe somebody in the audience was here back in the day did this used to be like one of the places where you came into the property i don't know but it's at the very top of the resort but to get down to the ocean from here can be a little bit of a challenge but we're going to do it shall we man i don't have the one wheel man i'm telling you what i'm feeling it now i'm actually having to work but this is a beautiful site here you've got the uh, north on a poly right there can you see that blue water just shimmering through man by the way we have a nice little south swell coming guys so for you surfers out there get ready it's coming okay so how do we get back to the ocean from here i don't know oh yeah i wanted to show you guys the uh the backside this is called backside over here do you see that right there so if you ever want to do another really cool cliff jump right there that's called backside I'll show you exactly. There might be some kids over there jumping. I don't know. Beautiful bougainvilleas. How's the new microphone sounding, guys? I got a new one in the mail. I'm telling you, going through microphones like they're going out of style. But this is a beautiful part. Now, if I was to stay at the Sheraton, I would probably want to stay in this building right here because this sits at the very top and looks right over the top of the black rock this is the coolest this is the best building in my opinion right here i've heard room rates have kind of gone up a little bit here at the old sheraton the last client i talked to that stays here said it was running about a thousand dollars a night so that's pretty nutty right all right i'm going to show you where i'm, I'm actually you know what i'm going to show you guys two things over here there's something for everyone in this beautiful live there's another little secret spot over here you should know about okay Hang on a sec, but don't tell anybody I told you. Okay, so real quick, if you guys ever want to jump off of the backside of Black Rock, this is how you would do that. You would climb right over that little guy, and then you would head right up here, and then you would jump right here. This is about a 50-footer. Huh? Whoa. Look at that look at that beautiful blue water so you can see a lot of people here doing some snorkeling probably my favorite snorkeling spot in the island to tell you the truth really lots of wildlife down there great place to scuba dive great place to night dive you can see a scuba diver right there you see that scuba diver in the water Of course, a beautiful shot here of North Ka'anapali. 
But I want to show you another little secret spot when you come here if you don't jump off the black rock back here backside and it's super safe right it's just a little impact factor but it's super safe it's very very deep right there I'm gonna say it's shoot it's probably 60 feet 40 feet maybe I don't know somewhere in there but here I'm gonna show you this too all right hang in there figure if we're not gonna be on the one wheel that means we can go four wheeling right on the uh, with the feet go anywhere now so here I'm going to show you this guys and then we're going to try to get down to that monk seal and we're going to end up at the hooey hooey restaurant time for some ono grinds right time for some macadamia encrusted something or some mahi ahi seared sensational nuggets of protein love okay so again remember who's showing you the cool stuff because this is really cool I'm telling you you're going to want to remember this now do you see that right there? That is a little platform that you can easily get to and hang out, put a lawn chair right there all day long, hang out by yourself. Now you have some competition with some of the, the teenagers because that's where they like to go. But you can climb down to that spot really easily. Of course you want to be careful, right? I'll show you how you do it though. Can I come down right here? So you can see there's like a little pad right there. Can you see that? And I'm not saying there isn't some risk involved, right? You gotta kinda step down from here and you gotta kinda go in there. So it's not for everybody. That's why the kids do it. But that's a pretty cool little spot. And you can just hang out there, have yourself a little ahi, a little bottle of wine. Pretty cool, right? And then, uh, you know, worst case scenario, if you did fall, you're just gonna fall in the ocean. It's no big deal. But you gotta be careful. Pretty cool though, right? If you like that little secret spot, let me know. You can get some other people up here, they're checking it out. I doubt they're gonna go down there though. So again, just to orientate you where you're at, that's the Sheraton Black Rock. That's where you jump off a of backside. And right below here is a little concrete landing pad that you can walk around that way, bring some chairs, hang out for the day. You'll be all by yourself. And people will wonder, how did you figure that out? Okay, let's keep going. This is just like live vlog style, just adventures on Maui. What do we really do here on the weekends? You can do what these gals do. They just went for a nice dive. Pretty fun, right? A little after dive sesh. That's what makes you super hungry. For all you scuba divers out there, you know what I'm talking about. When you get done with a dive, there's two things you got going on. You're stoked and you're hungry. It's like, Arr, I gotta eat, man. It's like a little high too, man. I can't explain it. That's why people dive, man. They scuba dive because the way you feel afterwards. I mean, during it's cool too, don't get me wrong, but afterwards it's nuts. Okay, so here's how I got here. You can't really go up here in a car unless you're staying at the hotel, but you can certainly walk up here in this little pedestrian session section and the closest parking is uh right next to the kbh kind of probably beach hotel there's some covered parking at the sheraton and then there's some beach parking right in front of the kind of poly beach hotel and then you just walk down here but from here what we're going to do is we're going to beeline back into the resort so in case you're thinking about, uh, maybe you clicked on this video because you're thinking about staying at the uh, Sheraton Black Rock and you want to see what it's like, see what it's all about, I'm going to show it to you. And then we're going to head over to the new Hooey Hooey and we're going to grab some grinds. That's your pigeon word, by the way, for eating. Grind. When you eat, you grind. And if it's really good, right, if it's really good food, then it's called Ono Grinds. Ono. Ono means like mm, the best, the best grinds. By the way, in case you guys didn't know this, had a client recently asked me this question. They've owned some property here for quite a while. And they go, Erica, don't you get like a, a discount if you like own property in Hawaii or if you live there? And uh, just in case you guys didn't know, you actually do. It's called Kama Aina. So if you have a Hawaii driver's license or a um, identification card, then you can get something called Kama Aina. So when you go somewhere, you say, hey man, do you guys take Kama Aina? That's usually gonna be anywhere from 10 to 30% off. And sometimes they ask for your 
driver's license. I mean, sometimes they don't, but now you know the word, Kama Aina. Yes, ah. And Kama Aina actually means local family. And there's actually a lot of families that uh, are the original Kama Aina families. We're gonna go this way. Um, and an original Kama Aina family, does anyone know what that is? That is one of the original people that moved here and are descendants of the missionaries. So every island has got its original Kama Aina families and they're usually descendants of the missionaries. And then what happens is every year they actually have like a, a family reunion of sorts where all the families will gather in a certain church and they'll do a roll call once a year and all of the official Kama Aina families will raise their hand. I won't say their last names, you know, the big ones obviously, you know, Baldwin and all that, but those are the original descendants. So if you guys haven't seen the movie Descendants, kind of gives you a flavor of it, but a lot of these people descended from these people that were here a long time ago. And uh, that is the original Kama Aina family. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, here we go. So now we're back at the resort, heading over to the pool. Gonna go see if we can get close to the monk seal. Now that you know all about Kama Aina, Kama Aina families, Ono Grinds, are you taking notes? There's gonna be a quiz, I promise you. Welcome to tourist heaven. A little drink at the bar, anybody? Mai Tai? Pina Colada? Hit me in the comments with your favorite poolside beverage. Place is packed, I'm telling you. We've seen some numbers before, but this is like uh, Miami Beach style right now. So in case it's uh, snowing and cold outside where you're at right now, let me know so we can all feel a little bit sorry for you, but <laughs> hopefully this is gonna be a little remedy, a little wintertime remedy. If you can't be at the ocean, can't be at the beach today, and especially at Maui Beach, right? They're the uh, the ultimate. Oh, I think you went in. I think you went in, man. Oh no, wait, wait, he's still there. Sweet, okay, good. All right, hang in there, guys. We're almost there. Oh, this place is crowded, huh? Oh my goodness, is it spring break? Is it? Someone tell me, what month is it? What day is it? You have to always remember, guys, I live on Maui. I don't track this information. It's not really useful information anymore. What really matters is where's the surf and who's ready to buy some real estate. Okay, here we are. We're almost up at the Monk Seal. Yeah, he has not moved. How cool. I'm stoked right now. I'm stoked for you guys. We're gonna get up and up close and personal with Mr. Monk Seal. <laughs> Daddy, this is Daddy. Sorry, please. <laughs> How cool is that, huh? Oh, He's nice just chilling. Has this guy moved at all yet? Yeah. He has? Yeah. Small kind? He was up there. He was up there, huh? This guy is absolutely passed out. Now that's what rest should look like. If you're not sleeping like that at night, guys, let this be a motivation and inspiration to you. Had to take off the Olukais there in a furious speed. Oh, here it comes. Good wave, good wave, good wave. Here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
It is comedy. Gorgeous, huh? So if you just tuned in, this is your Maui fix and your monk seal fix. Coming to you live from the beautiful Ka'anapali. Oh, we have movement, we have movement. Ah. <laughs> Man, you must have drank one too many Mai Tais last night. Oh yes, uh, here we go. Oh. Sleeping like a baby. Until that next big wave comes. This is a good one. This is a good one. Oh yeah. <laughs> so there he is. Unfazed. Well, what do you think guys? Is this cool? That's some good YouTube right there. The star of the show. I'm just not too sure he's going to be moving anytime soon. We've got the Monk Seal police over here, keeping an eye on everybody. My wife's calling me. Supposed to be at the restaurant. She's like, what are you doing? It's like, we got some monk seal action, babe. Oh, we're gonna get moved out of the way. All right, guys, we're going to continue on. Go around this way. Get another beautiful shot here of the Sheraton Black Rock. You can kind of see where I was earlier, just to orientate you. I was right up the top right there. See that? That's where the live started. Just to make sure you know what's going on. And of course, any of those rooms I think are pretty cool, built right into the side of the Black Rock. And then of course, the rooms that I really like are the ones that face right there. See over the top right there? That's a good building too, man. No can go wrong. All right, so this is Mr. Monk Seal area, roped off, and we'll just continue our walk 
down the beach, your vicarious vacation. Oh, that sand is hot. Oh. <laughs> I need to get back down to the wet sand as soon as possible. Because I am in pain. All right, here we go. Haven't done too many beach walks. That's kind of a good idea, I think. Of course, if you guys ever have any ideas for my lives or for the channel, let me know. All the best ideas come from you, no question. I always appreciate that audience participation. As I've said many times, most of the Aloha infused audience on planet Earth. And by the way, I uh, did just set up my first ever treasure hunt. So I'm going to give you a clue. I'm going to give you a clue. We got a treasure buried somewhere in that area there. I'm not going to tell you exactly where on this video, but a video will be coming out very soon where I've got in the, call it the Aloha, the Aloha treasure chest with all kinds of goodies for you guys when you're here on vacation. It's more of a gift exchange, honestly. Keep it going. The perpetual gift that never stops giving. So if you receive, then you give a little too, and then the next person just creates this chain of Aloha love, everyone giving receiving and it's pretty intricate little program actually when you watch the video you'll be like what but yeah the whole idea is to uh, give you a nice little experience on Maui and bless somebody else and in the meantime you get to do something cool so I'll explain it to you real quick and then I gotta go eat lunch so here's how it's gonna work the Aloha gift treasure box so once you find out where this place is at you go grab your gift now the gift is going to be a gift card and cash so you get both a little spending money and a gift certificate to an activity on Maui could be a dinner could be a, a sunset cruise could be a helicopter tour whatever it's just a, just a cool activity and then of course once you do that activity you take videos and pictures and share it with uh, with the rest of the community and uh, the only catch, if there is one, is that you leave a gift as well. Minimum $100 gift, card, so it's got to be a card so that it's easy to use. And the next person, when they show up, they get to experience whatever activity it is that you're giving them. Kind of cool, right? Oh, big wave. <laughs> so uh, there'll be more details. i got a whole video I made. But the, the treasure chest, I'm going to start it, right? I'm not going to take any gifts, right? I'm just going to start the whole chain reaction. But it's right up in that region somewhere. And uh, there's a gift card. And then there's an additional cash. Now, how much cash you leave is completely up to you. Could be 500 bucks, could be 100 bucks, could be no cash. But a gift card, you have to leave a gift card if you take one for a, worth at least 100 bucks. And then whatever cash is there is yours. And then you can leave additional cash if you want. That's the bonus, that's the unknown. So the unknown is you don't know what the gift card is. And you also don't know how much the cash gift is, but they're both going to be there, hopefully, waiting for you. So I'm going to put out a video talking more about that in the future, but just kind of a fun, cool game, man. There's a little selfie camera. You can take a selfie. It's a Polaroid. And then there's a, uh, a little journal, a leather journal. You write a little write-up uh, write about a cause that you're maybe uh, wanting to support, and then people can also give to that cause. So you leave maybe a you know, information on how they can give to that cost. So there's community giving as well. And uh, and you leave a selfie, take a selfie of yourself from this vantage point, which is one of the most beautiful places in all of Maui. But you leave a little Polaroid of yourself, a little selfie, and then you leave it in a, a little uh, clip, you know, like a paper clip on your page that you journal right in. And then we just have this huge collection of people giving and receiving, and it's gonna be awesome. So anyway, you heard it first here. More details are coming. And check out all the people on Black Rock right now. My goodness. This is nuts. Look at that. It's like a whole tribe. Oh my goodness. Are they all going to jump at once? I've never seen so many kids up there before. I don't know if I've ever seen this many people on Kanapali Beach before. Better watch out on this treasure hunt, man. <laughs> It'll be a line. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. 
time to go eat but if you've enjoyed the video love a thumbs up shaka share subscribe i shall return i don't know where i don't know when but i can promise you'll be somewhere here on the beautiful island of maui and of course as always if you're ever in the market for real estate to buy sell or just chat learn more i'd love to be your guy you're on maui until next time eric west out